Hello guys, Mike here with 2 -0 Scrapping. Today we're going to be scrapping this microwave here. So basically we're going to start off by taking off the cover. And uh, this should open up the microwave so we can get to the inside parts. Also, on the bottom, over here, down here there's going to be some light bulbs. Sometimes they have a, a little electric motor for the the plate to where the plate spins. Let's see, take this filter off. Yeah, the little motor is going to be in here. So once I take this case off, I should be able to get that little motor out. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew all the screws and take the case off and then we'll continue from there okay so I took the bottom cover off here there's gonna be some light bulbs down here you just take the light bulbs off them. Oh, you don't break them and cut yourself accidentally and then you just throw some off a piece of sheet metal here and we'll throw it in the trailer okay so here's the little motor I was talking about this is the one that it's gonna turn the plate inside I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect it and there's gonna be one screw on there there you go and it should come right off there you go nice little electric motor there alright so I'm gonna continue taking apart the case here all right so I went ahead and took off the cover here um, the uh, cover came right off and I took it off I just unscrewed every screw that I saw okay so most of the stuff is going to be located where the control panel is at on that same side so on this one it happens to be all on the right side and here you're going to have so you can see that there. Okay, perfect. This capacitor here, you want to discharge that because it packs a punch. And if you touch that, if it's if there's still some electrical charge in there, it may kill you. So it's always a good idea to discharge these before you basically do anything. So one way to discharge it is with a screwdriver. And basically you just touch both sides, the positive and the negative, but I'm going to, let's see, I'm, I have my ground cable here that I set up, so I'm basically just going to attach it to my screwdriver, and I'm going to just rub it, and then it's like in this little housing here, so you got to take that off, and it's just one screw. And that should loosen it up and be able to pull it right out. And this one has two wires on that side. So, all right. So now we're just gonna take off this board here. And a few screws and these little clamps here. Just one here, and then there's another clamp here. Pull this back, and then the board should just come right out like that. All right. So on this control panel here, I'm gonna take it apart. Um, there's a mylar sheet behind it and those contain silver so I'm going to just get that right of it and pop it off. There's going to be some tin and then there's going to be another little plastic cover here and, and the sheet goes underneath here and then it's basically just glued onto this face here so you, you want to get your screwdriver in one of the corners there 
might be a good idea to use a smaller screwdriver, a little thin one, and just poke underneath it, just like that, and then you should be able to peel off the, the sheet. comes right off and I'm just gonna get a piece of plastic and then you just keep peeling the layers of plastic there's gonna be a plastic cover and then you just peel it off and then you'll just get the mylar sheet out so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take off all the wiring take start taking it apart down here with these with where the control panel was there's gonna be like these little switches here and see if I can get one off. Like this switch here. And sometimes these have uh, silver contacts in them, so you want to save these up too. Okay, so I'm just going to take off the top, this whole plastic thing here. There's just going to be a few screws, just unscrew those. And then just look around, and make sure you got them all. Okay, we're gonna have a little, a little electric motor up here. Take that off real quick. There we go. So on this one, we're gonna have a fan system that will attach to the back, and that one is gonna have a nice electric motor in it. So you basically, so you really want to get this piece out. So all you do is just unscrew. All the screws you can see inside. Inside of here, there's going to be some clamps that are holding these fans in place. And what I do, I just take some wire cutters and I just clamp them down really hard, and then I just give it a little twist. Good luck to get it again. And just put this. right apart. Just pop that off. Clamp that on. It's done. The other clamp's off right there. And then this should just pop right off. Just give it a little a few twist. It comes right off. On the other side, you're gonna have to hold it down with some clamps or pliers or anything that you can, any tool that you have that you can hold it or clamp down with. This one I'm gonna use these clamps here. Like we did to the other side. It should come right off. And then you just clean up a little mortar here. There's your nice little electric mortar. Okay, so now we're going to continue taking all these wires. Taking all these wires off. A little plate has some screw here. Some tin. Alright. The transformer that I want is behind this plate here. Alright, so here's the transformer here. And Sometimes these, so that's already disconnected from all the other wires. Disconnected from the magnetron. Shame, I can get it out. Okay, I'm basically trying to get all the wiring out. The transformer. Just gonna unscrew these. From the magnetron. 
you know, the wiring and the transformer should be free. Alrighty, so we got the transformer off. And this one here is not going to be copper bearing. It's all aluminum here. You can see it there. It's bright. Silverish color. And I scraped this coating stuff that it has on the bottom one. Scrape it some more. And that one, you can see there's a little silvery color. That one ended up being aluminum too. So, had bad luck with this one. I was expecting to get copper on both. All right, so now we're gonna take off the magnetron. It's right here. This is what actually shoots the microwaves inside the chamber and heats up your food. So, on this one, we just have a few screws that are attached to it. So we're gonna go ahead and take those off. All right, so all we have left now is just the casing and the chamber in here, the door, and all this is just gonna be ferrous metal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it in the trailer as is. Okay, so now I'm gonna move over back to the wiring I took off earlier. Basically, we're just gonna clean it up a little bit get any copper bearing material out so just start and there's a little mortar here so just start cutting all the connections on this is going to be a little mortar here so we can take this off real quick just keep working it and it'll come right off so here's another electric mortar okay so we're just going to keep clearing this um, check for any connections that are magnetic, like this one here is magnetic, so we're going to take that off. Just keep looking on the connection cable here. So we're going to keep this. We can strip this wire in here and get a higher price. So we're just going to clip off the ends. Clip off the switch here. See, we can strip this later on. Here's, here's another piece of uh, copper bearing. Just get all these. There we go. And just pop that off. It's gonna have, just break it all up. And then you just cut it. board and you could sell these with your copper mortars or you can strip them just put it there for now so another little piece of low grade board there here's another low grade board these switches here these are gonna have silver contacts in them so you want to get those off of there. And put those with the other switches. Well, they're really not switches. They're like regula regulators or something like that. I'm not quite sure, but they have contacts in them, so we'll just throw with the switches. So put those there. Okay, and here we have another transformer. So we're going to cut it off the board here. Just put the board. There we go. So we put that with our copper bearing. You keep checking this. Make sure there's no 
fire's material in it. And just a little piece of stainless steel here. Yep. Just a little piece of stainless. And then all these ends that I've cut off, I'm going to throw them in my bucket that I collect though, all the end connections in. Oh, this one has uh, some brass. Here's another one here. Here's another piece. This magnetic. Throw that over there. It's gonna be one of those little switch boxes again. So you just throw it over there with the rest. And I believe that's it. It's number two copper. So basically, all we're going to get well, from this microwave is, looks like a few ounces of number two wire here. You can leave it with all these connections, still buy it like that. Um, there's some people that strip these and take the brass, but these are mostly aluminum. And there's no gold connections in there, so I'm just going to throw them all together. Okay, so that's the number two wire there. And then we're going to have this cable here. This, if you strip it, it may be number one. Yeah, it looks like number one me. It looks like bare bright. So we're going to put that in the pile. Missed. And then we're going to get four electric motors and a transformer and that transformer from earlier here you throw this with your electric motors I'm gonna strip these later so I'm not gonna throw the, these with my motors because these are easy to strip this one might not be that easy to strip it has the windings that's the core so it takes forever so I'm just not gonna do that so I'll probably throw these two with my motors a little bit of brass on these light bulb connections. Some connections here. A little bit of low grade board and some switches here that have silver contacts in them. So it's good to keep these, save them up. So that's all I have for this video, guys. Um, please remember to leave a comment like and subscribe. I'll be making a video on how to scrap the magnetron. When I do the electric motors I'm gonna do do them together so um, look forward for that one and thanks for watching guys. See you on the next video.